City High School. Now, it does sound more like a soap opera than a climate for learning. Our chief investigative reporter, Jonathan Deans, has this story. It's just so crazy in school. The, the tension between mostly the principal and the teachers has gotten out of hand. We're affecting a lot of students. That's Oscar Valenzuela, senior class president of the Manhattan Center for Science and Mathematics in East Harlem. Just feel like it's unfair. That student and baseball player, Dabian Canales, upset by allegations that the principal forced out his English teacher and is picking on his baseball coach. He groped me in his office. That's former assistant principal Felicia Bray, one of two women who accused the principal of sexually harassing them. The Department of Education says it is investigating the principal, David Jimenez. However, almost a dozen teachers say the school is sinking as the investigation has dragged on for more than a year. Since Jimenez has arrived three years ago, the graduation rate has improved to 89.5%. However, the school's rating has dropped from an A to a low B. At Epperse, Jimenez has caused talented teachers and administrators to leave. Felicia Bray says Jimenez retaliated against her and others after she accused him of sexual harassment last year. She has been demoted from assistant principal to teacher and sent to another school. I believe that I am a target because of standing up for what's right. Two hands. Base coach Edgar Leon says the principal wanted him to lie and accuse Bray of okaying an unauthorized purchase for the team. The coach said that after he refused to lie, the school cut the baseball team's funding. So the teachers raised $700 to save the season. Coach Leon thanked them with a barbecue. English teacher Yvette Korak says Principal Jimenez forced him to resign simply because he had attended that barbecue. Basically because I participated in that barbecue, um, I was no longer the right person for the job. In fact, he said so in those words. And that's our Jonathan Deese reporting, and Jonathan adds Principal Jimenez declined to speak to them. Last month in a teachers' union vote, 44 teachers voted no confidence in his, while 8 backed him, 22 abstained. The co-president of the Parents Association told us that he's worried this tension and alleged retribution could be hurting kids' education.